Welcome, welcome, welcome to the flicks, picks, and the nitpicks, and I am your humble host, No718. And in the comments to you know who, because I will at you. You kept hitting me up in the comments asking me to review a trailer that I went out of my way to go look up for because I never heard of it before. The Lady of Heaven trailer. Heard absolutely nothing about it. All I saw was a bunch of thumbnails. It looked like it was a foreign religion film of sorts at first. I know nothing about this. This is fun. It's a movie channel. Keep on suggesting me trailers to check out. I'll check out any movie once I get the time and let me know what you think, man. This is what we're here for. We get in the comments. We chop it up about movies. And I want to keep a, keep this community growing. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend that is them again. And if you got a, a YouTube channel to add me on one, make a video. Let me know what's going on. At me and then I make a video right back or whatever we can do. But I want this to be very communal experience on the flip Picks and the nitpicks. So anyway, without further ado, I will check this trailer out. And again, I know nothing about this movie, like at all. The Lady of Heaven. Um, just the thumbnails when you type it in looked interesting. So let's check this out, and I'll see you on the other side. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Remember, even if you're afraid, be strong. Okay. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? She was very special. Daughter to the Prophet Muhammad. My time is near. And afterwards, my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us. Evil All right, wait a with second. those who will extinguish the light of truth. You're gonna let a woman tell us what to do. We will burn her out. God will judge all of you. This world has become a breeding ground of violence. Shadow will be cast across many generations to come. It said some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Her legacy lives on. All right, so this is going straight to theaters, or? All right, first door. First off, um, it looks interesting. It looks real interesting. Um, I thought you're not supposed to show depictions of Muhammad, though. That was the first thing I thought of. I was like, wait a second, is that you're not supposed to? And I've never heard of this story. So I don't know. Is this like um? Of the Quran, is this where is this coming from, or is this just a film? But I don't want to get wrapped up into the religion because this is um this it's all about the film and the filmmaking. But that really threw me off because I wasn't really sure if you could do that. But even past that, it looks interesting. Um, 
yeah, it looks interesting. I, I'm just, I gotta check it out again. I'm check. I gotta check this out again. I, I, I don't really know what to. It looks interesting. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It looks interesting. Let me um, let's check it again. It looks like it has some interesting shots. Um. It doesn't look like it have an extremely large budget, but you might not need it. It's just going to be about the quality of the filmmaking. So, and the cinematography and just how they tell a story. And then it's going to weigh heavily on the, on, on the actors in the film. So, I'm definitely interested. Uh, let's just check it out again. And go. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Remember, even if you're afraid, be strong. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? She was very special. Daughter to the Prophet Muhammad. My time is near. And not okay, so it... my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. So it starts in now, but it tells a story my from before. No longer here to lead us. Evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. You're gonna let a woman tell us what to do. We will burn her out. God will judge all of you. This world has become a breeding ground of violence. Shadow will be cast across many generations to come. Mm, okay. It said some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Her legacy lives on. All right. Um, it looks interesting. It really does. Um. Anybody know what they're about? Uh -huh. I love documentaries. Um, I, growing up, I even though I would watch Kings of Kings as a kid. I mean, growing up, you gonna watch that? Um, I wouldn't. I, it took me time to really have a stronger appreciation because the mood will always send you like you in church. So you know, you kids like, damn, I'm back in church. But if you get to watching it. You could get caught up in it because it's good filmmaking. And it's because it's a, it's actually a really good film, Kings of Kings, and I always really kind of not say I like the end part, but it was just always going towards the end when he has his last. That's always one thing I, that always stood out most to me as a kid growing up when he goes through the stages. Then I'm thinking the message now when I got to see that as a, an adult. And this felt like, wow, like this is how it might look. Because they really showed the tribes of man, men in their authenticity. So it felt like a real sincere, genuine film. So, you know, religious films, I never really wanted films too preachy. Biblical films, I had no problem with. Especially now as I'm older, because I love documentaries and docu-pics. The only difference is, is now as I watch 
like depending on who made the film you have to be very careful because a lot of them are not really trying to stay to the story they want to romanticize it and make it cinematic which isn't a bad thing but then if all you have is a film then you start parroting what the film does instead of what really happened and you know i could be a little stickler for that shit that's why i'm really heavy into documentaries that being said this is a very fascinating story because it's a story that i'm not aware of but i've heard of the name fatima and I, but I've always associate. I feel like I'm associating associating it with some uh, her with someone else. At least that name, not with the one that's here. Or, or maybe it was the same person. But like I said, I, I have a vague recollection of the name. That being said, it's fascinating. It looks interesting. Um, thank you in the comments for putting me on to it. It's on my radar now. Uh, when the movie drops, um, uh, yeah, I might, I might have to go check it out. It's interesting. It seems like they're gonna play against the roles of women, which is very fascinating, cause um, it's something that I've always felt that if you ever read the Da Vinci Code book, the film totally left that out about the placement of of who the head. The, they didn't really tell it the way the book impacted it. You know what I mean? So, it's I'm not sure if that's the direction they're going at with, or is it going to be just more of a spiritual thing, or it might be all of the above and then some. So, I'm fascinated by the film. Thank you for putting me on to it. It's on my radar now, and um, yeah, I definitely look more into it and see when it comes out maybe i get a, i get a chance to go sit down and watch it you know and i'm sure you'll be in the comments to remind me so like always and you already know what i said let's talk about it down below in the comments did you like it did you like how it looks did you like what they're depicting um are you familiar with the story man again leave it in the comments below like share subscribe see you next time and as always tell i have a better outro chill